Bicycles rule the street. It doesn't matter if you're walking around with Christmas presents or driving around to your rental Ferrari, cyclists will run you over. Figuratively speaking, of course, because they're cycling, not running. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know what it is, but as someone who cycled all his life to Amsterdam, I can confirm that whenever we, the Dutchies, sit on our bikes, we feel... Where does this come from? This common inner thought of being a bike hero. Cyclists in other countries are way more cautious. By the way, let me know in the comment section down below what country you're from. The Netherlands are lowlands. 26% of the country is below sea level and there's no mountain to be seen anywhere. Ads are getting shorter and shorter. Do the do. Okay, besides that one, there are a few hills somewhere, but I bet that most foreigners won't even call them hills. More like little bumps on the road. And because the Netherlands are so flat, it makes cycling over here a lot more relaxed slash convenient. But that's not the only reason why cycling over here is so popular. The infrastructure for bicycles is great. There are bicycle roads everywhere in the whole country with their own little bicycle intersections, bicycle traffic lights with countdowns, bicycle streets with cars as guests, bicycle police officers, bicycle parking garages, bicycle bridges, bicycle train tickets, and bicycle swimming pools. Okay, the last one was a joke. Everyone laugh at the funny joke. Ha ha! When you cycle over here, you feel protected. You're a full-fledged road user. They should put that on a t-shirt today. Maybe I should put it on a t-shirt. Through my 35 years of living in Amsterdam, I've seen roads being rebuilt, refurbished, redesigned again and again and again. And each time the bicycle road um, gets a little smoother, gets a little wider, gets a little bit more comfortable. <sighs> I can only imagine how the bicycle roads of the future will look like. Will I get a free foot massage uh, while cycling around? Maybe it will be just like with bowling that on the sides of the bicycle track there will be some soft, um, you know, cushions in case I fall, like when the bowling ball falls. I can only imagine how heavenly the bicycle roads of the future in 10 years will be. Let me know if you watch this video in 2032, anyone. If anyone is watching this in 2032, let me know. Oh, I think a bird just now shit on my window. No, I, I, I'm sure. Wow, that's amazing. If only you could see what I see right now, like a big you know, piece of bird shit. Um, luckily it's raining, so it's really being spread over the whole window. B E A beautiful. It's a B E A beautiful day. Uh, okay, but uh, let's get back to our subject. Let's not kid ourselves. Accidents do still happen. And whenever an accident happens between a car and a cyclist, the car is mostly in the wrong. At least that's what the cyclists are thinking in the back of their heads because of the traffic hierarchy. More on that in this video right here. Warning. Warning. Ah! Warning. 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 On a more serious note, you, the non dutchy should not behave like you're the king of the road when riding the bike here in Amsterdam or whatever. And you, the Dutchy, should also behave. Oh, behave. Because even I, the bicycle king, had my fair share of incidents. I don't know if you've ever been to Turkey, but over there, the cars are all driving like maniacs. For example, you're standing for a zebra crossing and cars will just keep on driving with 100 kilometers per hour. And it doesn't matter if 20 people are trying to cross the road, whole families and children, etc. They will keep on driving. So you have to wait till there's a, a moment, a gap in between the cars that you can run to the other side of the road. Really, that's how it goes in Turkey. Shout out to Turkey. Here in Amsterdam, it's like that, but then for cyclists. I don't know about the rest of the country, but here in Amsterdam, it goes like this. Even if I'm driving my bicycle very slow, it's just maybe one in 100 people that dares to cross the street. Even though they obviously have the right to cross, they don't dare to cross the road. It's up to you. Would you rather walk or cycle here in Amsterdam? Would you rather wait at the zebra crossing? Would you rather be waited for? If you want people to wait for you, then I recommend you to watch this video right here. Otherwise your precious bike might just disappear. And without a bike, how will you rule the streets of Amsterdam? Tell me. Down below, how?